Breaker Broke 23. So, by request from a few of my supporters out there, I decided to order the Audio Engine B1 Bluetooth Music Receiver with 5.0 Aptix HD Extended Range High Fidelity 24 bit DAC optical and analog outputs for home audio device. So, it's 189 bucks on Amazon. So this is the uh, the unboxing. My plan is I'm going to unbox it. I want to show you guys what you get, what comes with this, because I kind of really don't know. And um, then I'm going to put it through its paces, and then I'll do a follow-up video on this, on how it works. So I'll get my trusty buck knife, one of my favorite knives. And what I mean by supporter of this channel is I am an Amazon influencer. And... I leave links to product that I own only I use and I only put a link up if I like the product so I've had products that I won't recommend but I actually won't even do a video I actually order a lot of Bluetooth gear off of Amazon and I would say oh half a dozen items that I've ordered are not really even worthy of anything so usually what I'll do is I'll just give them away as gifts maybe I should do a giveaway or should I do that to you guys I don't know anyway like I said so I only put links up to stuff that I use and would recommend when you guys click on that link and buy something from Amazon I get a commission from Dr. Evil that's already built into the seller's pricing so it doesn't really come out of your pocket and that's really what funds this channel so thank you for doing that, that afforded me to be able to buy this product. So, what do we have here? Comes in a nice box, easy setup, award-winning sound. Well, we'll see about that. I don't always believe the hype. Nice little foam pad here. What do we have? The quick start guide, I love quick start guides. So there it is. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you that I'm not going to review the uh, optical output on this. I own nothing that will have that capability. I don't own any audio video receivers anymore. I've donated them all to Goodwill. I just don't like them, I'm old school. So I'm just gonna give you a heads up right now. Optical's not going to happen with me. I just can't stand the way AV receivers sound. And that's just the way it is. I'm not really a big AV guy. All right, so some literature pimping up their product. All right, pretty cool. Don't eat. Okay, we've got kind of a bulker RCA cable here. The outer jacket seems to be fairly thick, but this is probably like 32 gauge wire in here. For testing this, I am gonna use this, and then I will try my twisted pair that I made. I used to make, back in the 90s, I made tons of twisted pair cables, custom cables for my um, customers. And I think I have a few still laying around, so I'll do a little comparison between the two. But, you know, this doesn't feel too cheap. You never know. That is a pretty nice little USB cable. I don't know how long that is, but I'm going to just take a guess. This has got to be a good five or six feet long. That's kind of cool. All right. That's interesting. Oh, wow. I have never seen a wall work like this ever. That's kind of, kind of cool. All right, well, well, I'll figure that out. Neat little pouch to do what? I'm not really sure. Um, that's interesting. I mean, that's kind of neat, but whatever. Um, here's the unit. Audio engine, Bluetooth audio receiver, designed by, designed by audio engine, Made in China, of 
course. So, in the description from Amazon, they say that this has audiophile quality RCA connectors. So, yes, these are better than, say, what would come on the back of... Oh, goodness. On the back of this Logitech. Right? I get that. But I happen to have about a dozen or so of these that I bought off of Amazon for really cheap. So that's interesting. But, you know, it's China. So on the back we have our 5 volt input, digital audio out, right and left RCAs. You know, it's kind of neat. End pieces here are semi rubberized, I'm not not quite. We have a fold up antenna. This will be a high gain antenna. You know, that's that's not a bad antenna. I mean, this is like what 2.4 gigahertz for Bluetooth, so that's going to be all right. Um, I know they sell high gain, what they quote as high gain antennas that are quite a bit longer, but you can only go so far. Um, you start going too big, then you're going to kind of defeat your sig your purpose of putting on an ex uh, a bigger or higher gain antenna because you're actually you will lose gain because it's not. Uh, resonant to that frequency. So I'm going to buy this. I think this is cool. I would like to see... That's interesting. I would like to see an SMA, a little mini SMA connector on there because I wonder if I want to take that off and experiment. So this is not removable or replaceable. All right, we got a little switch on the front here. All right, that's cool. That's for pairing. Power and pairing. Okay. Right? So they've updated this. On the interweb here, it shows that's just a pairing switch only. And on the unit, it's a little different. Well, that's cool. Updates are cool. I can deal with that. Awesome. So, we will unveil one of my receivers here. This is like one of my favorite go-to receivers, which I keep covered at all times. And uh, I will be using the Marantz 2250B receiver for the test piece. And we will be going through a pair of uh, Klipsch Fortes. And uh, that ought to allow me to hear everything. What I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get familiar with this, go through all the paces with the uh, audio engine, and then I'm going to compare it to some other Bluetooth units. Yes, this may be blasphemy, but I will even compare it to the little $19 Logitech piece right there. We'll see. Obvious, well, I'm going to assume that's going to smoke that, but we'll see. You never know. One thing that I'm very curious about is this is advertised at 2 volts RMS for preamp out. As you folks have probably seen, I like to add line drivers to these because these little buggers um, just don't uh, give enough preamp output signal. Uh, same thing with the Harman Kardon. And as you guys know, I like to use Bluetooth um, units just because of um, their uh, flexibility, durability, and they don't become greedy like these do when you try to pair other Bluetooth devices in your home. And um, I'm, I'm really excited to see if the audio engine B1 lives up to that advertised output voltage of 2 volts RMS. Alrighty, there you go, the audio engine B1 Bluetooth music receiver unboxing. Stay tuned. We're going to pair that sucker up and uh, do a little performance evaluation.